I believe we have James Bissett back, uh, former Canadian ambassador to Yugoslavia. James, what do you make of what is happening today in Belgrade? Well, I think it was entirely predictable. Uh, you know, the Serbs are frustrated and angry at the decision uh, of unilateral declaration by the Albanians in Kosovo. Uh, they're powerless to do much about it. Uh, except to demonstrate and to uh, vent their frustration in street, de street demonstrations. So, uh, I mean, it's a perfectly natural phenomena uh, and, as I said, predictable. Uh, I was in India last week and uh, we were talking about the parallel between Kashmir and Kosovo and a retired Indian general uh, said, look, there is uh, some parallel but there's a major difference. And I asked him, what is that? And he said, well, India has a nuclear bomb. Serbia does not. And I think that kind of sums it up. There's nothing the Serbs can really do except to demonstrate their frustration and anger at the decision that 15% of their territory is taken away from them. So General Clark, do you think that that means this really is a one-off, that this won't go anywhere beyond today? Once the streets are clear, this is the end of it. Well, I don't know if it'll go someplace beyond today or not because uh, that really depends on how it's handled by the international community and how effective NATO is on the ground in Kosovo. But I think that uh, actions like this do embarrass the Serb government. They don't look constructive. Um, they, the Serbs have made their point. They're upset about this. But, you know, on the other side, there's two million people who've been held in legal limbo for nine years with 60 percent unemployment. And that can't go on either. And after the long record of Serb repression and ethnic cleansing of Kosovar Albanians in their own territory. After one and oh. a half million were run out of their homes in 1999 during the Serb campaign that NATO interrupted with its air campaign, it's not possible simply to reintegrate these countries politically. There was no alternative and Serb Serbia has to give up on the past, recognize the consequences of past actions and then move forward. James or Patrick, do you want to respond to that? Well, I would like to re respond if I might. Of course, James uh, Bissett, go ahead. I think the UN figures have, are pretty clear that most of the so-called ethnic cleansing of Kosovo started after the NATO bombing commenced. Uh, prior to that, there were several thousands of people displaced uh, because of the fighting between the KLA and the uh, Serbian security forces. But the mass exodus occurred after the bombing. Uh, that might be also, uh, just to add a point, that the frustration of the Serbs and their demonstrations this evening are targeted uh, against certain embassies. And the number one embassy, of course, is the United States. Uh, let's not forget that uh, General Clark and the NATO Air Force bombed Serbia for 78 days and 78 nights. So they've got a, you know, they feel themselves that they have a bit of a grudge against the United States.